here. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome Tyler back. Tyler and I with another yeah. video. We are um, here. No shame, we're in the same clothing as we were in the last video. Um, yeah, black t-shirts. We're, we're filming on the same day. We're same both going out day. of town. Um, we wanted to pump out another video for you guys so we can stick to that once a week schedule. Um, this week, today, we are doing a kind of intro to us um, and mainly like a what's in our bag. What do we usually shoot with our daily setups, what we carry around. Um, because believe yeah. it or not, we get asked that a lot on Instagram. Yeah, we don't have much. very like popular Instagrams at all, but we yeah. get asked a lot. It's true. Yeah. What do we shoot on? So we're going to put that to rest. We're going to put it to bed. We're putting that in a coffin. Show you yeah, what we shoot right with. Um, and we're going to start with, you or me, who wants to go first? You're going to go first. Let's rock, paper, scissors. I'm going rock. Best out of three. You're going rock? Yeah, we're okay. going one. I'm no, going let's rock. just go rock. And then on the third one, pick it, okay? So rock, rock. All right, you're going first. Jesus Tyler Christ. is going first. And... Okay, so starting with me, because I won the crazy game of rock, paper, scissors. Um, we're going to start with my main body, my DSLR. Nothing special. It is a Canon 60 with a Pancake 40. And that's all I have. I don't have any other lenses. I don't have any accessories to it. It is just a 60, again, with a Pancake 40 and a cracked screen on the back. Nothing special. It gets the job done. Um, for those of you who shoot Canon, you know the 60 is a workhorse, um, and I absolutely love it. It's probably my favorite Canon body I've ever owned, to be honest, and I've owned pretty much every one. Um, next in the bag, we have my film camera, which is what I shoot with mainly. I don't shoot much too much DSLR at the moment. I am in like a weird film vibe. Um, so I shoot with the Contax G1 with the 28 2.8. Uh, I think it's a or however you say it, the Biogon T. Um, it's the sharpest glass I probably have literally ever shot on. Um, and along with that, the film stocks I use for it uh, vary. Let's start with Kodak Portrait 800. Um, I have a few rolls of Portrait 800. Um, this is my favorite film stock. High ISO, um, so broad daylight's not fantastic, but the colors on Portrait 800 are second to none. I think the only thing better than this is Portrait 400, um, which I don't shoot all that often. Um, next, I do the Kodak Color 200. If you can't afford Kodak, Kodak Portrait 400, they call this the Poor Man's Portrait. It's like three or four dollars um, a roll at my local store. Um, I love it, the colors are fantastic. Um, so yeah, when I don't feel like spending a ton of money on film, I use this, it gets the job done. This is my daily point and shoot. Um, and this right now, I've got Ektar 100, which I am not a fan of. Um, I just got my first roll of Ektar developed and the colors are fucked. If you shoot film and you shoot Ektar 100, you cannot be trusted. Unsubscribe, get off this video. Uh, but it's a Ricoh TF 500. Um, the reason I got it is because it has a 70 millimeter on it that still stays at 2.8. I wanted to cover that weird range uh, because I shoot 28, 35. I wanted something more. Um, so it's a typical point and shoot. Can't really adjust the settings. Um, but yeah, there's no battery in it now because it stays on automatically and it drains the battery and the batteries are $20 a piece and I am broke, so I can't afford too many. But yeah, this is the quick shoot. If I see something cool, pull out, clap, done. The bag, I sh the bag that I have is a jerry rig of everything. I don't carry around a traditional camera bag. They're too fucking expensive. I'm too broke. So I got this bag at Forever 21 for $20. I attached a cannon strap to it with two carabiners that don't match. I just had them lying around the house. Um, it's nice. It's small. I keep this in there to pad the cameras. Uh, there's not much. It's a satchel. It's a man purse. It's my favorite. I carry Sharpies to label the film when I shoot it so I know what I'm turning in. Again, because I'm broke, I don't turn in all my rolls at the same time. I want to make sure I turn in the rolls that are my priority. Second, this, for all my SD cards, because I have so fucking many of them. I have two, one in the camera, one in here. Eight gig, 64 gig, that's it. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else. We'll check this front pocket for you guys. Uh, film canisters not film. I carry batteries in here for my film uh, cameras so that in case I run out while I'm, you know, trekking through the wilderness of Laguna Beach because there's so much of it uh, that I don't run out of battery. And then that right there. 
Um, it's the TLA 140. I think it's the cheapest flash contacts makes. Um, honestly, I haven't used it yet, so I have no idea how it works. It took me, when I first, I bought the camera off Craigslist. When I bought the camera, the guy showed me how to work it. Took it home the same night, couldn't figure out how to work it. Um, ended up wasting like probably half a roll of film trying to get this to work. Um, the film spun back in, took the film out, closed the camera. The next shot I took with it, the flash went off. Um, so haven't used it yet for real. I'm excited to use it. But yeah, that's what's in my bag. A bunch of random stuff. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. But let's go see what's in Adam's bag. Welcome to what's in my bag. First item, please. This is the Sigma 85 millimeter with its lens hood. Huge piece of glass here. This is probably one of my favorite go-to lenses for portraits. One of my favorites, as I already just said, and I highly recommend it. Thank you, sir. This is a Sigma 70 to 200 f 2.8. Basically, the cheap Canon version, but for regular shooters. And so, what are you gonna do? You know, you gotta get it. You gotta, it's cool. It's great for uh, a lot of weddings that I shoot. A lot of cool people look really cool on this. Great for depth, and uh, I love it. It's great. Thank you, sir. These are something special that everyone needs to check out. These are called MagMod. Um, they're flash modifiers, so these are grids and these are gels. And they're basically used for like changing the colors of light. Um, so you can shoot flash and do different color backlights, different color like front light, key lights, that sort of thing. Um, so I really love messing around with all these items and like splashing it up really nice and cool. So can't go wrong with those. Wow, so this big thing here is my big bag, which I'm still here. Um, this sucker is the Hex brand bag. Um, it's a big, this thing was like $300 back in the day when I bought it, and it just holds like a ton of space for all my stuff. The main camera I shoot on, which is what we're filming on right now, is the 5D Mark IV with the Canon 70 or 24 to 70, which I would show you guys, but we're filming with it. So since we're not, uh, usually it goes in here, then I have this big guy comes in right here. I'll just build this for you real quick. Why not? Sure, what the heck? And then this thing goes in here. You know, you get the point, whatever, it's fine. It's a cool bag, I recommend it, but um, I think I'm due for an upgrade. She hasn't lasted as long as I wanted her to, so I would definitely recommend checking her out. Last thing on the list is my memory card holder. I actually own about 20 memory cards, but they're all not in here. And this is my empty one, so after this shoot, I'm not gonna have any extra memory cards left, so that's where we stand. Also, I like to shoot with a lot of off-camera flash, which I'll put a photo of the flash I use right here. And uh, that's the, uh, the flash I like to use. It's a really good unit, and uh, I totally recommend it. So, back to you, Tyler. Okay, so if you stuck around and got through that painful what's in our bag segment, yeah, uh, we kind of just wanted to like, touch on what our point is with this channel, why we wanted to start it. Um, and kind of the direction we wanted to go in. We have been friends for too long and we both mutually met via a job but started bonding over photography. And we've been doing this for like five years now so I think it was about time we started something serious. Um, and we both, within the past few months we had both talked about, he wanted to restart a YouTube, I was kind of in the process of starting my own. Um, and figured why not do it together. I can't edit for shit, so I'm kind of just using him. Uh, so yeah, we Same. wanna, yeah, yeah, but the direction cool. of the channel is, it's kind of a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, We're gonna do a lot of photography, a lot of like ride-alongs for our photo shoots, that sort of thing. We're shooting probably about four times a week, so we'll at least film one or two of those a week and just provide like any, any cool content. We see we're gonna do like a little bit of some challenges 
spice it up a little bit. Um, yeah, we both watch yeah. a ton of people on YouTube, a ton of photographers on YouTube who like, we enjoy, but they just don't cater to us or the people or like the photographers around us that, that, mm -hmm. that we know. So we kind of wanted to cater to like more of a local photographer group and just like yeah. a different niche. You know, there's like, you've got a bunch of guys doing like outdoor work and a bunch of mm -hmm. video work. You don't see too many people doing portrait stuff. You've got yeah. like Jessica Cobasi and then Brandon Wolfel. Yeah. Uh, but they have such different styles that we kind of want to yeah. be in that middle ground. So we're going to do a bunch of challenges for you. Um, you guys have already seen two. We've got a ton more coming up. We've got a, a thrift store challenge where we're going to go buy the cheapest film camera and then just shoot one roll. Yeah. We've got a ton of stuff coming for you guys. Um, we hope you're enjoying the content. If you want to, you should want to. Actually, I'm not giving you the option. Go subscribe. like, yeah, subscribe. Yeah. Leave comments, follow us on our socials down below. Yeah. We really want to get this, you know, channel up and running uh, the proper way. So we hope you guys enjoy the content and the content yet to come, and you guys enjoy us. And yeah, I don't know. See how it goes. Yeah, I guess we're just winging it as we go. So we hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. You guys have a great day.